instruction. Good day, class. You are welcome to our mathematics class for grade three. And uh, for this uh, lesson today, we want to look at the topic money. Action. Good day, class. You are welcome to our mathematics class for grade three. And uh, for this uh, lesson today, we want to look at the topic money. Money. What do I say? Money. So, and uh, when we talk about uh, money, we know in the olden days there was no medium of uh, exchange. So, by so doing, people exchange goods for goods, and then they call it trade by butter. Since there was no medium of exchange, they do not have uh, money. So, if you have a uh, yam and you are tired of eating yam probably you need rice or beans you have to look for someone who is in need of a yam and uh, has a rice or beans that you are looking for to exchange for your yam so this was the problem that time but after that era we move to the era of using cowries. Cowries before we were finally colonized by the British. When the British government came, they introduced their own money to us, which was a, a pounds and the shillings. So we were using this as a medium of a exchange till when we gained our independence in October 1st, 1960. After the independence, we have to introduce our own money. And that time, uh, we started using a Naira and the Kobo, which we are still using up to today. So now, we are moving into the lesson proper, addition of the uh, money. As you all know, we have a, uh, a global problem of uh, COVID-19 and that made the whole nation to be under lockdown. So, as a result of this, uh, let's come back to uh, Equity State. Here in Equity State, we are only allowed to go out between the hours of 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Thursdays to purchase our things. And uh, without the knowledge of addition of uh, money, you won't know the quantity of uh, food you need to buy. You won't know the quantity of household items that you need to buy because it is not only food. You need cosmetics, you need a uh, uh, beverages, you need even your paste and all other items. So with the help of addition of uh, money, you know what quantity of money you have to exchange for the good other items. So with the help of addition of uh, money, you know what quantity of money you have to exchange for the goods you want to Bad. So we are now moving into world examples. So like we have on the board, example one, the cost of a pencil, a ruler, and a book are 2 naira 50 kobo, 3 naira 5 kobo, and 15 naira 1 kobo respectively. Find the total cost of the three items. When you hear the word respectively, it means the first amount is for the first item. That is the pencil cost 2 naira 50 kobo and a ruler cost 3 naira 5 kobo. Why the last item, the book, cost 15 naira 1 kobo? So now the solution. 
we've read the question and we've explained it the other time now we want to do the solution we say a pencil cost two naira fifty kobo and a ruler three naira five kobo while a book cost fifteen naira one kobo the operator we are working with is a addition and the symbol is what we have on the board which we also call plus so we want to add all these items together to get the total cost so in doing that we have one plus five equals six and six plus zero we have six zero plus zero we have zero and zero plus five we have five so we move to the Naira side. This is Kobo. 5 plus 3, we have 8. And 8 plus 2 gives us 10. We put down a 0, we carry a 1. And 1 plus 1, we have a 2. So now, the total cost of for the 3 items gives us 20 Naira 56 Kobo. So, this gives you the addition of uh, the money you should have in your pocket while going to the market to buy a pencil, a ruler, and a book. So now, okay. yes, we are done with example one. Now let's move on to example two. And here we have a boy while going to school was given 80 naira 50 kobo for lunch. 65 naira 20 cover for a notebook and a 100 and 400 naira 50 cover for transport how much money did he have all together so let's now solve it together all right okay all right your lunch is a 80 naira 50 Kobo, the amount for notebook, 65 naira, 20 Kobo, and the amount for transport is 100 naira, 50 Kobo. Our operator, which is a plus, must stand out. Don't hide it under your money. Let it stand out, because that is what we are working with. So let's now do the addition. We have... 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 0 gives us 0. And 5 plus 2 gives us 7. 7 plus 5, we have 12. So you put down 2, you carry 1. 0 plus 5 gives us 0. 5 plus 0, 0 plus 5, we have 5. And 5 plus 0, we have a 5. 5 plus 1, we have 6. 0 plus 6 equals 6. And 6 plus 8, we have 14. You put down 4 and you carry 1. The 1 plus 1 gives us 2. These numbers that you carry, you must not uh, throw it away. Why adding the numbers in each a row and column you must learn to add everything together because some of you are in the habit of adding and uh, you throw away that figure is very very important if you throw it away you won't have the correct answer so you have to be mindful of that so the total amount the boy is having on him is now 246 naira 20 kobo so now we are moving on to our class work which